insect is fairly recognizable by a number of gardeners. This is the Colorado potato beetle or Leptinotarsa decimlineata. Now the scientific name decimlineata refers to the stripes on the beetle's elytra or wing coverings. It means 10 stripes. So we see these 10 black stripes um, on top of a, a yellowish colored wing. The common name Colorado potato beetle is actually a misnomer. The beetle's not from Colorado. It originates in Central America and Mexico, but it was first uh, found as a problem in crops in the U.S. in Colorado, and that's where it got its common name. Now, it tends to be a big problem on potatoes. We're here in eggplant. Um, the beetle will feed on potatoes and then also closely related plants, and eggplant and potato are both in the plant family Solanaceae. Now in our potatoes, because they are not, we don't need them to be pollinated, we're interested in the tubers, we can cover them with a row cover throughout the entire growing season and keep the beetles away from those plants and really under control. Now in our eggplant, these plants are pollinated by wind and when we have a row cover over them, it limits the wind and can reduce pollination. So we like to take the cover off when it's time to produce fruit, but that opens them up to beetle infestation. So we have to look for other ways to manage them. Um, one of the easiest things is to just come through and hand pick the insects off the leaves and just drop them into some soapy water that'll kill them. You wanna look for the adults and also the larvae. And the larvae have a or orangey brown colored abdomen, real plump looking. And again, you could just drop them right into the soapy water. As you scout through the plants, another thing you want to look for are the egg masses. Now the beetles tend to lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves, and so you want to look through the plants, look on the underside. You'll also find the adults and, and larvae hanging out there as well. When you find the eggs, you just want to squish them to keep them from hatching, and uh, we've eliminated a problem in the garden. Now if you have a heavy infestation, you can't keep up by, by hand or if you have a really large planting, there are some chemicals. Uh, Colorado potato beetle is actually fairly hard to control chemically. You want to target more of the larval stage, so you do have to be out scouting and pay attention to your plants. Um, I'm going to use a product containing spinosad. Spinosad is uh, derived from soil-borne bacteria. And it has to be ingested in order to be effective. It's actually fairly um, broad spectrum, but because it has to be ingested, it doesn't have a huge impact on non-target organisms. And it is listed as an organic product. And we're gonna mix that up. I've already done this into our water supply, uh, into a sprayer, and then we're gonna spray the plant with that. And when we're spraying, we wanna make sure that we get really good coverage and particularly pay attention to the undersides of the leaves because that's where a lot of the larvae and adults are gonna be hanging out. You wanna spray the point, spray the plant to the point of saturation where it's actually dripping down uh, from the foliage. Now I mentioned that Colorado potato beetle is fairly difficult to control chemically, so we really want to rely on an integrated management program for this pest. We want to incorporate row covers wherever possible just to simply exclude Colorado potato beetle, use our hand picking to limit the population size, and where necessary, we could go in and control chemically. Another thing we could do uh, in our potatoes particularly, I like to mulch with straw, and this creates a habitat for predators particularly some of the ground beetles that'll come out and feed on the beetles at night. Now another thing I saw in here are some lady beetles. They're good at feeding on the egg stage, uh, but they can't feed on anything much larger. Together, the work of our predators, some chemical applications and cultural methods like the row covers will work together to keep our Colorado potato beetles in check. <laughs>